Hall. I am back with another tutorial with the Nectar Pacer. And today I am looking at integrating the Nectar Pacer better with Ableton Live. But should really say that all of the presets, everything that we're looking at today, you can use with any day DAW you want. Um, I'm going to focus on Ableton Live, and, and the reason is that I bought Pacer kind of hoping that it would have good integration with Ableton Live. And it does not have very good integration with Ableton Live, at least not out of the box. But it does have the potential for good integration with Ableton Live, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. So if you look at Pacer's website, sorry, at Nectar's website for the Pacer, they will tell you, okay, they have this this website here, set up for Ableton Live, set up Pacer. Um, and they go through and they say, okay, well, we have a few kind of presets that you could use for Ableton Live. Um, but look at the first one right here. This is the, the track mode. So if I hit the track mode, um, it says, well, basically most of them are unused. So S1, so switch 1, switch 2, switch 3, switch 4, switch 5, switch 6. <laughs> six. Uh, these are all unused. And then you can use the track mode buttons up and down. So let's kind of go back. Let's go to Ableton and have a look. So I'm in uh, a, pre, um, a template that I have set up here that we'll look at in, in a bit. And I press S1. Nothing. Right. Uh, mute. Nothing. 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 And then we have these keys that actually do work. So the up and down switches work just just like they said. Right. So we go back to their to their website. So S1 through S S6 are unused. And then we have the track up and down buttons that that work for, for the next track. OK, so this is useless. <laughs> Basically, if we look at what we get out of track one, it's nothing. Um, if we go to, uh, sorry, uh, out of the out of the track settings, we get nothing. If we go here to the to the B to the transport settings, now we do get something quite useful out of that. With with the transport settings, we can get record loop turns on and off. You see there. The this goes backwards and forwards. So the the two and the three they do the thing that they're supposed to do. The stop switch works. The play switch works, and then the record. We'll hit the record uh, for us up there on the on the top. So these work these work fine, right? So if I were to make presets, which I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this in place. But the um, but the track settings, the the track preset here on A is pretty useless for me. So I'm really not interested in keeping that. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to hit preset here so I can get back to my doll selection. I mean, to my uh, preset selection. And I'm going to go up to A1. So what I've done is I've programmed A1 through A4 with uh, presets that are going to be quite useful in Ableton Live. So I direct you over here to my website. This is brandonxshaw.com. And if you look under sound, and then reviews and tutorials, you can find this page that we're on right now, setting up Nectar's Pacer with Ableton Live. And we can just scroll down here and see what I've done is to set up one through four as different CC uh, commands. So they're going to send out uh, a different a different command that you can map however you want onto your presets or on onto your Ableton Live or onto you, whatever your DAW is of choice. Okay, these two have special functions. And then this track command, which was useless for us before, now has a has a new special function as well. And these play, the play preset, I have kept in place as it was. Okay, so if we press play, it looks just like it did on our, any other um, channel. We have the, the loop function, the backwards and forwards, the stop, the play and record just like normal. OK, so let's go back to the preset and kind of see what we've done here. If I go to Ableton Live and I press this button, this is switch number one, we're going to see this this effect come on, mudslide. OK, I can do the same for all of the buttons here, one through four, and it's going to turn on different uh, different presets there. Now, the cool thing that we have as well is if I turn off one of these buttons here, I'm going to do, for example, the, the flanger, which is on number three. If I turn it off, we see that it actually also turns off on Nectar's Pacer. 
this is on, this is off, on, off, okay. So the way that I did that, I I handled this in another tutorial, but just to go over it very briefly for you, if I go to the control button, switch four is already uh, lit because that's the last switch that I used. And then I'm gonna scroll over here to LED. I hit that, MIDI, I hit that, and it says on. So it should say on for your, for your uh, Nectar Pacer if you want it to work. Uh, with integration as far as what's happening within the DAW itself. So you make sure it's on, then you press that, then you're going to go to back, and then to back again, and then you find save, you hit it once, twice, third time's a charm, and then that, that will work for you. So then by that point, if you turn the flanger on with your, with your cursor, if you turn it on and off, with a push or another external device, it will also register on your on your pacer. So that's what we want there. Okay, so the next uh, couple of cool things I want to show you is that I've um, got us how to work around for some things that I couldn't figure out how to do with with uh, Ableton or or anything else. One thing that was quite important for me to be able to do is to be able to scroll uh, up and to the right. If I'm doing a set um, and I'm recording something here, I want to be able to go to the next set, to the next track, and record something else. And if I want to make another loop on top of that, I want to have the function and be able to hit the down key to go uh, to the next one. And as we saw, that should have happened here in the track preset, um, but that does not work um, as far as what, what uh, Nectar has given us. That is doesn't work at all with Ableton. So I had to kind of find a, a workaround for that. And this is the workaround. It's called MIDI Stroke. So if we go to, to MIDI Stroke, you can download this little app. And this is actually something that you can only use for Mac, but there is a, a, an equivalent for PC. We go to uh, charlieroberts.com MIDI Stroke. I'll put the the um, the website there uh, underneath this tutorial, so you, you can see that you can see that, and then you'll you'll see uh, his his little application, and you should you should download that. Okay, that's for one. Uh, the next thing I want to go back to uh, Ableton Live here and look at what I have set in for MIDI Stroke. Okay, so these are the functions I have over CC number two. If I press that what I enter here is right. Okay, so I need to type in right here, I, need, I type in the word right. Okay, so that is the right arrow. That's what it's gonna do for you. Under number three, I type in down, and that's gonna perform the down function. And then under CC 127, I type in Z, and I need to tick this little box here that has the, has the apple. So that's gonna do control Z, which we all know is the undo function. So if I am under, uh, here I'm on this base, and this corresponds to A1. Here as far as what I have for my, for my um, presets. I'm gonna press this button, and it's gonna move over to the next track, okay? Notice my preset has not changed automatically. If I want to change the preset, I have to hit this button. Okay, so now we see I have purple presets, and this lets me know the way that I have my template set up that I'm in the second template. So we have this uh, solo is colored purple for me. And when I'm in that template, then I, I have the, the purple um, the purple LEDs that, that work for, for that preset. Okay, and same thing goes here. So I have different things are gonna be controlled different ways by this preset, right? I hit a button to turn it on and off and that's all, that's all fine and dandy. Um, this controls my going to the right, or I can also hit this button to go down. We see, so if I record something on this, uh, in this clip and I wanna go down to the next one, then I can record record the next thing there. Okay, so that all works fine. And I also have this mapped up here to do the undo function. These don't change in A1 through A4. Anytime you're in A1, A2, A3, or A4, you can hit this button to go right, you can hit this button to go down, you can hit this button to undo, and that will that will work globally across uh, all of those tracks. Okay. Um, I also have two expression pedals you see here, right? And I wanna start with expression pedal number two. Expression number 
pedal number two also does not change for me. So if I go uh, to the to my website here where I have this kind of listed out what they're each going to do, um, expression pedal number two is over CC11, so it's the CC value of 11, and it doesn't change. So in in A1, expression is expression two is 11, A2 it's 11, so forth and so so on. Just like in Spinal Tap, 11, 11, 11. Okay, so what is 11 going to control? That is up to you. For me, I have 11 controlling my master volume. Okay, this is over all of the channels. This is the master volume switch, so that's always going to be controlled. Expression pedal 2, on the other hand, is very different for each one of, the, um, each one of my presets. So if I turn on these effects here in, my, um, in A2, that corresponds to this, what I have, the solo, the solo preset, and then I move expression pedal one, you see it's controlling all sorts of things. A lot of dry, wet values, so this is kind of giving me a lot more dirt if I want that. But um, as, you, as you probably know, you can control any one of these values. Uh, you can assign any of that to, to this pedal, to, to, that, to that, MIDI, um, that MIDI value. Okay, so that's really up to you, but just know that for now, if you uh, download the presets that I have here on my website, then you have expression pedal uh, one set up as number six if you're in A1, and you can control whatever you want over CC value number six. That's, that's up to you. The next one, if you go up, is, is going to be number seven. And then we see here expression pedal one is going to be number eight in A3. And in A4, expression pedal number one is going to be nine. So the good news about that is you can control um, the expression that's going to be it's it's only going to be limited to the um, to the track that you're in. Okay, so if I'm in track two and I have A two set up and I'm using expression pedal one, it's not going to do anything to tracks one through three, right? It's, it's going to be exclusive to to A two. So that's a pretty cool function. On the other hand, uh, expression pedal two is always going to control the master volume regardless of of what um, of what preset you're using at the time. Something that you might have noticed here is that when I go and select one of these tracks, um, it automatically record arms it. And I would again point you to the to my website here where I, I tell you how to do that. It's this under step two, how to set record arm automatically. Um, it's it's very useful if you're doing this kind of a um, live set uh, templates. And definitely for that, I would recommend that you just have that have that set up automatically. Um, unfortunately, that's not something that Ableton at this point gives as a as a possibility. But you can do that yourself. Um, and again, here this is you get more information about how to convert CC messages into into keystrokes. So if you prefer to read through things, I would definitely recommend having a look at my website. So that is A one through A four. The next thing I want to look at is if we go up to A five. Okay, this is the uh, preset called Notes, and I've done a little bit of work on this, so this will work on a drum kit with it. So I'm going to a drum kit, and we'll see that if I press 1, I'm getting that what's called a kick strongman, and 2 is doing the next, 3, and so forth on down the line. So. I Okay, and these presets are a little bit different. I had to kind of basically move these down an octave so they will work uh, with with what you get sort of for an automatically for uh, for your drum kits for with Ableton. I do want to point out as well that you can also use the expression one pedal to control values on that. So here we have uh, the Pacific Alley Lindrum. This is a free preset that you can download from Ableton Live. I believe if you have the studio version, it only works with studio version. Um, but this gives you that nice little Lindrum that anybody who loves prints like I do knows the Lin drum quite well. And then I can map not just the, the sounds onto the onto, onto the um, nectar pacer, but then you can use the purpleizer, right? So this is an effect that uh, has been included with that. And then you can map on different sounds, different values using the pedal with the purpleizer uh, kind of effect button. And again, it's not going to affect anything else that you have going on with your with your different presets um, and different tracks. 
Okay, so that is an overview of these presets. Again, if you go to brandonxshaw.com, sound, and then find the Nectar um, Pacer with Ableton live um, page that I've written there, it gives you a bunch of information. Um, get, if you can take more time with it to sort of figure out how to, how to program this in, look at the other tutorials that tell you how to download the files, how to put them on your Pacer and so forth, and also how to do a little bit more custom programming if that's something that you're, that you're into. Um, I would ask again if you guys can, can give me a like and a subscribe if this has been helpful for you. I'd appreciate it. And uh, you will also be notified when I put new um, new tutorials up. I'm really trying to get as much as I can out of this pacer, and I think this would be really helpful and interesting for a lot of you who are doing the same. Um, I would ask that you also just give a comment if you're finding, if you have a question, or if you found another workaround, or um, if there's a problem with what I'm doing. This is a community. We're all kind of learning together, so let's help each other out. All right, that is it for now. Uh, Y'all enjoy, and let me know what you're doing. Take care. Talk to you soon. Different, 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 different